Today is the day we are launching our fighter gel. Hello, Perfect Beauties. I am so excited today because we are announcing the newest product in our Banish family, the Fighter Gel. I will show you how much I've loved this product. When the samples were shipped, we didn't have the packaging developed fully. So I got this about three weeks ago and I'm literally like almost out of it. And because it is limited edition and we don't have more, I've been so obsessed with this and I wanted to tell you guys the story of how it was developed, how it was thought of, all of that. So you guys know I am very, 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 very picky about the products that we launch. We've been in business for over six years. We have like seven products out. Many of them have been with us from day one. Once we launch something, it takes a lot of trial and error and testing, trying to find the right balance and everything before we get it out there to you guys. We don't launch whatever is trendy. A lot of trendy skincare items don't work for my skin because I have very, very sensitive skin. You guys know I break out towards everything. I can't use the regular skincare ingredients that are in most OTC products. The internal team at Banish had tested it for over a year and it wasn't just me that loved it. It was like so many people on our team loved it. Some of the influencers and warriors were sent the product who really loved it. Now we're finally making it available to you guys. So I wanna tell you the story of how it was developed and all the ingredients in there and why we decided to launch this product. So this product is limited edition. We have a limited stock of it because we don't have much of it because it is a new product and we're trying to test it out to see if you guys like it or not before we want to invest more um, into making more units of the products. Let me know if you like the product or not, um, but I have the link of the product in the description below. Okay. So if you guys don't know, I have been suffering with eczema for the past two years. You guys know I've suffered with acne all my life. It's kind of weird because once the acne started to go away, I started developing eczema, eczema psoriasis. And I never had it before in my life and all of a sudden it just started to pop out. And it started small. It started like around my eyes, behind my ears, around my neck. But then once it got to my body, namely big, big parts of my elbows, parts of my calves, parts of my back, parts of my hips, it just went crazy, went haywire, and the eczema psoriasis covered a significant percentage of my body. And it was weird because I never had it before and I didn't know what was causing it. I tried everything and you guys know that I'm a very determined person. I'm a control freak and so I wanna control <laughs> my skin and I tried everything from psoriasis, going to doctor's appointments, going to allergists. I went to Korean spa saunas, did red light therapy, drank celery juice, did infrared saunas. The doctor prescribed me steroid creams, which I took. They also suggested I actually ingest steroids because that would reduce the inflammation in my body. I tried everything and my eczema didn't go away. Now, the hard part about eczema and it is, I think, different from acne in that it is actually severely painful. There is this constant need to itch. And when I mean itch, I mean scratch so hard that you're scabbing your skin. And I'm not talking like a small patch, I'm talking about huge patches around my body, like significant areas. And unconsciously, even in the middle of the night, I would just be scratching so hard that I'd wake up and it just be like blood kind of like around that area. And then my bed sheets would just have like so much dead skin. And my car, I know it sounds really gross, but my car, I have to get my car detailed every month or like very regularly because there is so much dead skin in like the little crevices of my car because all I do while I'm driving is I'm unconsciously just scratching and scratching and being constantly itchy is so, so, so painful. I even bought these bandages and I bought these really tight armbands so that way I could prevent myself from scratching. I mean, I tried everything because it was getting really, really inconvenient when I was always scratching myself. And I actually even, you know, Googled like, can I die? from having psoriasis because I thought, is there a way that I could scratch myself to death? Like I actually thought like there was a huge probability that like I would get some kind of infection or whatever. And on the real occasion, yes, if you have too many open wounds in your body, which I did from 
all the scratching, you can get like, for example, HIV, you know, or hepatitis from blood diseases. So it was like super, super scary. I have a podcast of where I talk more in depth about my eczema story. It's been a really hard past two years. I still don't know what causes it. I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it's like stress related. I'm sure it is somewhere, somehow. I'm sure I'm allergic to something somewhere, somehow, but I still can't figure out exactly what it is. So I took a trip to Budapest and I heard in Budapest, there's like these thermal springs, these mineral springs that sources Budapest's water supply. And I had a friend who has a mom who, has had this chronic illness or like was it cancer or chronic illness? I'm not sure. But she said like her mom had tried everything for like over 15 years to cure this illness of hers. And after she came back from going in those hot springs, she actually became cured of her illness. And I was like, whoa, this is like voodoo shit. And I'm not like one to believe in that kind of stuff. Like I'm not super into all of, you know, all that stuff, but it was like a friend. So I felt like there was more valid validity to it. And I also heard that the water in Budapest is really, really good if you're suffering with eczema. I was like, oh my God, I'll do whatever it takes. So went to Budapest. It is one of my favorite cities ever. It is so beautiful. It has so much culture and history. And it's just, it's a stunning, stunning, stunning city. The water though, the tap water apparently though, it, it smells a little weird. It smells a little bit like rotten eggs. It smells, how do I put it? It smells, I don't know. It's like, you know, when you like hard boiled eggs and you like boil them for too long, there's that water evaporation thing. It's, that's what it smells like. So the water was kind of weird, but I wanted to check out the thermal baths in Budapest. There's two, there's Shishkirni and then there's Gellert but there's like so many different mineral bathhouses that they have in Budapest and they've been around for like, I don't know if it's thousands, but at least hundreds of years. These kings would have these palaces and you know, just soak in these baths and you know, <laughs> discuss and do their business and run their kingdoms through there. And it's a way of life there. I also know Japan has like rich thermal waters too with their onsens. And I do believe in a few other areas in the world, there's like really these rich thermal baths. So I went to the Shishkirni bath house. It was so beautiful, so crowded. And the first thing that really resonated with me was that it smelled like it stunk, like it smelled like rotten eggs. And that is because the thermal bath waters come straight from like the earth and they have a lot of sulfur in them. And so I believe sulfur comes from something with like the egg yolk, but eggs are really rich in sulfur, right? That's why the water smells like on eggs. But what's also really cool is that in the Shishkirni baths, they have like, um, like water fountains. That's like basically the same water that's in the baths. You're just constantly drinking, drinking water that's filled with like rich minerals and sulfur. And you're also bathing in them. You're just laying down in them. And apparently people told me this and I couldn't believe it, but after even soaking in a bath for like 15 minutes, you actually feel super, super tired. And you'd be like, why would you be so tired? It isn't like bathing, relaxing, but it's actually like a pretty intense workout or sport because just the minerals in the water just take so much out of you and your cells are just like like regenerating and all the minerals are going into your body and all that at first literally you guys i was like that yeah this is like voodoo voodoo bullshit like i don't believe this this is just a tourist trap like this is not whatever but i had a really great time and i love saunas and i've been going to saunas a lot to help with my eczema now what I thought was amazing was a couple days after going to the Chishkirni Baths and after drinking the water in Budapest, my eczema completely disappeared like this, like it didn't itch. And this was the first time in two years it didn't itch. And I tried everything, you guys. Like I went to the doctor, I bought steroid, I would use steroid creams. You know, I would literally take salt cubes and like rub it. <laughs> Um, apple cider vinegar, everything. And it was that the skin didn't have those dry patches and my skin also stopped itching, right? So there wasn't any scabbing, there wasn't any itchiness and there wasn't any dryness. And I thought, whoa, <laughs> is this real? Is this legit? And I did more research into, there's actually articles published by the NIH about sulfur and 
the amazing thing sulfur does, especially in these mineral rich waters. And there's a reason why these baths are so popular and why people have been bathing in them for thousands of years and why, you know, people come from all over the world to bathe in these mineral rich baths. So I don't know. I don't know if I bought into the voodoo. <laughs> I don't know what the voodoo is because I, I just thought it was a tourist trap thing, but it actually really helped my skin. My skin looked so amazing afterwards. And also what I noticed in Budapest was like very few people have acne there, which I thought was really interesting, like very few people. And I truly believe it is the water. And I do think like everything that you put in your body, it all like adds up and it has an effect on you. So I actually only drink a certain kind of water at my house. I don't drink the tap water because I know where it's from and stuff. And I don't know, I just don't think, <laughs> I don't think my body will react well to that. You're drinking water from the source and it's really good for you. And I did more research into sulfur and it actually has so many amazing health benefits. It reduces joint pain. It actually like reduces like the aging process. Again, this sounds voodoo, but sulfur helps fight against free radicals and free radicals is kind of like all of like the toxic stuff that you get exposed to in your environment that will cause you to age. So for example, like sugar and stuff like that like will cause you to age faster. So sulfur kind of fights against that. And then it helps in the production of so many great amino acids and helps with like getting rid of the toxins in your cells. I mean, there's just so many great things about sulfur, but what I was really interested in is it actually reduces inflammation. When you get eczema or when you get acne, it's because things are getting inflamed, especially when you have eczema. It's because your skin is getting inflamed, it's getting irritated, and that's why you need to scratch. So one of the main ingredients in this fighter gel is actually dimethyl sulfon or MSM. And it's a great ingredient that will help reduce inflammation in eczema and also acne. So when I came back to the US, I was like, oh my God, this thing is legit. Like this is real. Like I want to find ingredients, skincare product that will help me with my eczema. And one of the ingredients I want in it is dimethyl sulfon. So a sulfur compound. Another great thing about this ingredient is that it actually helps reduce the breakdown of collagen, which is like what we're all about here at Banish, like we wanna, you know, rebuild collagen. And a lot of athletes actually use this ingredient to help their muscles recover faster and help them like repair any injuries faster. And it's also interesting because they use methyl sulfony methane or MSM. And actually it is so effective in helping repair the joints and helping with muscle recovery and just in general like health recovery that they will actually give them to racehorses so that way they can recover and run faster. So I thought that was super, super interesting. Now sulfur is actually found in a lot of organic compounds. It's found in a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables, anything like fresh that's growing. But over time, you know, especially if we're cooking or eating processed foods, we're not getting as much sulfur as we need in our everyday life. And sulfur is really the kind of building block of making sure that we're not degrading as fast. <laughs> so that's why like athletes use it. That's why it's really good for inflammation and acne. And if you do more research into sulfur, and I'll have some links below, a clinical journals of the amazing benefits of sulfur, you can read into that, but there are so many amazing benefits, and I'm surprised it's not more in skincare products. So in the Phyto Gel, we have that as one of our main ingredients, but it is in an aloe, organic aloe, based gel, which is so great. Aloe is so, so great for inflammation, calming the skin, and aloe does have some antibacterial properties for acne. And then in this fighter gel, we also have Mountain Daisy. Mountain Daisy reduces inflammation and swelling, and it has also been proven to speed the recovery of healing patients in terms of scarring after surgery. So what's better than improving your scars? Well, Mountain Daisy, right? The next ingredient in the fighter gel is organic go to cola, which there is a published study in the National Institute of Health that it's really great for wound healing, which is amazing because what are we about at Banish? Healing the wounds and building collagen from the inside out. It's really good for psoriasis and eczema and also has a therapeutic properties. There's a horsetail extract, which also heals wounds and is an antibacterial property. So it will also help with acne because 
know when you have bacteria in your skin that causes acne. There's also wild geranium and wild geranium is an astringent. It has toning properties. It helps with cell turnover. It reduces the appearance of wrinkles and it also calms inflammation. So that's really good for overall skin health. And also there's peppermint in here, which also helps with oil production. It has antiseptic qualities. So this is an amazing, amazing fighter gel. I wanted one of the main ingredients to be that sulfur component, but then there's also so many other great ingredients that not only help acne, but also reduces inflammation in the skin. So whenever my eczema starts to itch or whenever I have dry skin or a dry patch, I put this gel on my skin and you guys, you know my obsession with mintiness. I wanted this gel to be minty and it is. It's so cooling, it's so refreshing. It's really similar to, I would say, the All Clear Mint Cleanser in terms of how minty it is. Um, but you're just going to, I mean, apply it on your skin and it just absorbs into your skin. And if you have eczema, you just apply this onto your skin and within a couple of minutes, like your skin will just drink it up because it is an aloe based gel. Um, it'll drink it up, but with all of the other ingredients in there and you just keep applying. And it really, because it's minty, it's so, so great if your skin is itching for something cooling and minty to be applied on the skin because you know when you have eczema and it's burning like hell, you just want something like super, super cold and super, super cooling to kind of calm it down. So I love, 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 love this product. We had so many members at Banish try the product. They said it works really, really great with their acne because this does have antibacterial, antiseptic properties, but it also reduces inflammation. And again, acne is caused because your oil glands are producing too much oil, but they're also clogged by dead skin cells and it kind of gets inflamed and that's what causes the acne. So you want to reduce inflammation, irritation in your skin. And we've also had people use it helping with their joints and also muscle recovery is really good. So overall, it's an amazing, amazing product. And I'm so, so, so lucky to be launching it this week with y'all because it is literally like a miracle product for me. As you can see, I'm almost out of it and it's only been a few weeks because I've just been applying it to my eczema. And we've also had so many people internally at Banish saying it helped with their acne and that they're completely obsessed with the fighter gel. So that's when I knew, yo, like this is an amazing product and we need to launch it. So. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are just as excited and love the product as much as I do. And again, this wasn't something that, you know, I wanted to launch because it was trendy or whatnot. I mean, no one else is launching something like this on the market right now. It's literally because I had a problem and I wanted to fix it. And I think when you're open and curious about the world and you're open to solutions and you're open to thinking outside the box, you get answers in unexpected ways, you know? And so going to a trip to Budapest and soaking in those baths and for the first time, not having eczema and having like my skin not itch was so amazing. I knew there had to be something there and so i wanted to kind of encapsulate all of that but other really amazing ingredients in a jar to bring back home for you guys so let me know what you think about this product let me know if you struggle with eczema or any other skin conditions i might do more of an in-depth like review of all the individual ingredients in the fighter gel there's so much scientific studies behind all the ingredients and just kind of how the cell DNA works. I didn't want to include it in this video because it would just be like forever long. But let me know if you want me to talk more about that in future videos. And also we will be giving away five, one, two, three, four, five, five fighter gels in this video. So you, all you got to do is comment below and write down your Instagram handle about what you love about this fighter gel and we will be choosing a winner shortly. All the info will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your support with Banish. This is literally like the only product we've launched this year and we worked really, really hard at it and I am so, so excited to be sharing it with you all. Okay, thanks, bye.